Hello, I'm Tanya and I'm going to talk to you about NAS drives. Um, a NAS drive is a hard disk that you connect to your home network instead of to your computer. So you just plug it into your router using an Ethernet cable and then it's available to all the computers on your network. Um, and there's, there's quite a few advantages to doing that. The first thing is that it can act as a repository for all your files. So say all your videos, all your music, you put them on the NAS drive and then you don't need to, wait, you don't need to rely on any particular computer being on. You can always get those files from any computer. Um, and also you can do, you can do kind of more, even more advanced features like you can access your files via FTP over the internet just straight from the NAS drive. Um, some NAS drives are even more advanced and they will do things like schedule BitTorrent downloads for you at night so you don't have to have a computer on, the NAS drive will do it all on its own. You can use it for backup um, and you can just use it to stream, to stream files to your computer or to your television if you have a media streamer. Um, so it's quite, it's, there's some good reasons to do it. Um, so the, here, here's a NAS drive and it comes in, in, a, in an enclosure like this. If you, I mean, if you want to do it the cheap way, if you have an existing hard drive that you'd kind of like to make into a NAS drive, you can just buy an enclosure. So you just need to, to get the right enclosure, check that it's the right size for the drive, and check that it's the right type. So if it's an IDE drive, get an IDE enclosure, or a SATA drive, a SATA enclosure. Those are the two things to check. Um, if you'd like some more advanced features, because that will give you quite a basic kind of NAS drive, if you'd like some more advanced features like the BitTorrent or the media streaming, um, then you need to buy something a bit more expensive. And that's something like these. Um, these two, this is the Netgear Ready NAS. Um, and that has some really, that has all the advanced features that I've, that I've spoken about. It's, um, this one has a 500 gigabyte drive in it. And it's also got a, a spare enclosure for uh, another drive that you might like to add. So you just pop that out. And then there's a, there's a spare drive bay in there. So you can expand this NAS drive if you want to. Um, and it has, it has a couple of USB ports as well, so this is kind of quite the, the high-end one. This one's a little bit more simple, um, it's from Lacey, and it's just, a, just one disc simply in an enclosure. Um, but this can do media streaming as well, so it's, it's, it's a good one also. Um, and, and really all you need to do, the setup of a NAS drive is really quite simple. You just get your Ethernet cable and just connect it to the NAS drive and to your router, um, and then you access the, the NAS drive via your computer and you set up how it's, how it's all going to work. Okay, so it's really easy to set up. I've just got this Ethernet cable going into my router and then I'm just going to plug it in here and that's all you need to do. Okay, so this is how your final setup should look. You've got your NAS drive connected to your router with, with your Ethernet cable um, and then your router is connected to your computer. Um, I've got it here with an Ethernet cable but maybe you could connect wi wirelessly. That's how the final thing should look. So once you've got your NAS drive connected to your router, switch it on, and then you just have to wait a few moments for the router to assign it an IP address. On the one I'm using, the Ready NAS, you can tell when this has happened because the blue light stops flashing and becomes a solid blue. Um, and once you've done that, it will appear here in the network part of your computer. So my network neighbourhood in XP just this network part in, in Vista. Um, and it comes with some software that you can install. I haven't actually installed any of the software um, because it just, it's just automatically recognized like any other kind of drive. So here I can just go into the folder structure on the NAS drive, um, on the ready NAS, and there you can see it's got this folder structure set up. So I can just drag and drop folders and files in here as I would with, with any, other, any other kind of drive. So that's just how you get your, your stuff on there. That's really simple. Um, this link here, this is how you set it up. So when you first use it, it will ask you some simple security questions. You know, uh, you need to change the username, you need to change the password, um, you need to tell it the right time zone, that kind of thing. It will just ask those simple questions the first time, but I've already, I've already set this one up. Um, so it's just going to ask me for the username and password. I haven't changed the username. I've just left it as, as admin. And it forces you to change, a new pass, to change the password, to give it a new password. OK, so now you can see it just comes up in, in Firefox. I haven't installed any software on, on the computer for the NAS drive. It just comes up in Firefox. Um, and you can see it here. There's the IP address of the NAS drive. And we're on the admin screen. And it's a 
secure connection. Sometimes when you first use it, um, it will come up, Firefox will come up with a security exception um, that it doesn't like the, the certificate that's been given. But it's okay just to, just to make up an exception just to tell Firefox it's, it's okay just to accept this certificate that you don't like because you know the NAS drive isn't, isn't anything nasty so it's okay to, to just set up that security exception in Firefox. Um, and then, then we come to this screen and this is the admin screen for the Netgear, for the Netgear Ready NAS. So I'm just, I'm just in Firefox and I'm talking directly to the, the, the NAS drive here. Um, so I'll show you some of the things you can do with it. It's really simple. You just go into um, services. Um, here are the streaming services. Um, and you just need to turn these things on. If, you've, if you have a squeeze box and you want to stream to that, or you want to stream to iTunes, you just enable these things here. Again, there, the, the media streaming server. Um, if you want to use the BitTorrent, um, as, as we've shown you in the magazine, you just enable it here. You click Save, and then you use the Download Manager to instruct the ReadyNAS about when to perform the, the BitTorrent download. You can also use it for um, backing up. Just go into this section, the backup section, and then you can click on Add a new backup job. And then you can just get the ReadyNAS to automatically make any, any kind of backup um, that you like. So you just select here, wherever your, perhaps it's on your hard disk, on a USB device, wherever the, the, the file or folder is that you would like to back up. You just select it there. Select the destination where you probably want it to go on the NAS drive and then select the schedule for when it should, when the backup should automatically happen. So that's quite another, quite a good other thing to use your, your NAS drive for. So that's just, it's just really simple. You just have the, um, you just access it via Firefox or it's in your network there and you just add your files, just drag and drop as you would with any other, any other kind of drive. That's it. There is nothing mysterious about these, these kinds of features, about accessing your files via FTP, streaming your media around your home, even setting up BitTorrent downloads with your NAS drive. It's quite simple. It's something, that, something that's quite easy to accomplish. Um, and that's it.